this is honestly kind of the common sense we need in this industry, right? I mean, because, I, like, I, I think it's just being a bit skeptical, but in a good yeah. way. I think it's skeptical to, to, to um, protect yourself because everyone, exactly. whether it's, I mean, look, same thing, people were saying the same thing about Bitcoin. It's only gonna go yeah. up, it's only gonna go up, and maybe long-term it will, but there's certain people that bought Bitcoin at the wrong time, and then it went down. Exactly. And, and so it's the same type of mentality going over to this industry. It's the same thing as I'm going to start a CBD place. I'm going to yeah. uh, invest in marijuana. I'm going to invest in whatever. Yeah, yeah, there's a gold rush to it. And it's very easy to be drawn in when everyone's right. making money. But that is right. not a lasting formula. That's not how it works long term. There's, there, there's going to be that part where it's like, all right, now investors stop. Now it's not new anymore. Now markets shift. And, uh, you know, I just feel bad when people don't get that message because they're, right. they just have their eyes fixated on this, this new shiny ball that's going to uh, save all their, their problems in life or solve them all. Exactly. Right. That, that shiny ball people want, people want just that, that's, that's something that like, that's in literally in their dreams that millionaire, that whole millionaire idea and people don't think about the protection first right and well, well okay I, I think, let's, let's go on. Well, well real quick brandon I, there's a yeah. quote by warren buffett i don't know if I'm, i mentioned it to you or please, if please. it was just online but it was and i don't know the exact quote i'd have to look it up but it was something like the best investments usually draw a yawn yeah uh, versus a, an applause like a lot of people are looking for investments to get the applause because it's a flash investment but a lot of times the best ones draw a yawn, like, oh, boring. But boring yes. usually means proven. Kind of like how a lot of millionaires, uh, they don't drive flashy cars. They uh, have businesses like ATM machines or laundromats or these things that are like, oh, it's a cash cow of a business. But no one is proud to say, oh, I own three laundromats. That's boring. Yes, but, yes. but at the end of the day, you look at the bank account and you go, holy crap, you know, that generates... 10 grand a month per laundromat, easy cash flow. Well, you, that's better than having a sexy new restaurant on the corner that oh, is there we go. losing money every month. There we go. So the way I can and I can use the analogy to, to compare that to sports car, it's like your laundromats, your boring businesses, it's like sort of your sports car bond investing, more like uh, not Michael Jordan, but maybe even Charles Barkley or Magic Johnson or Kareem, right? But these are these are super safe sports cards and that sexy restaurant is like that Zion, but you never know what's going to happen. So I'm, yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. I mean, what, who are the coolest cards? If, if you were going to showcase your collection mm -hmm. to someone, what are the coolest cards right now? And I'd have to say exactly. something like Luca and Zion because yes. they're, they're so hot right now. They're hot in, in the media in the ESPN, they're up and coming, they're trending. And then a Charles Barkley rookie card where it's like, all right, yeah, it's Charles Barkley, but it's not as exciting. He's already retired. He's an analyst. Yeah, we like him. But that would be more of the conservative, proven uh, laundromat type of investment versus uh, the Zions and Lucas where it's sexy, but just like that restaurant on the corner, it's, it's the new hot restaurant for six months or a year, and then it goes out of business, and then a new hot restaurant opens up on the other corner. Exactly. Okay, now I'm gonna use that time frame again. I'm gonna use your example again. I, I'm sorry, I keep doing that, but but watch this, right? So six months to a year, this restaurant's gonna be hot. I don't know how you translate that to sports cards, but let's just use that same timetable and say this sexy card is going to be super high demand for six to twelve months. Well, isn't there isn't there money opportunity there, right? If you're talking about Zion Prism PSA ten or Luca Prism Trigon. Like flipping opportunity? Sure. I, I, yeah. Of course there is. I mean, but I, I think everyone goes in with that. And then mm. if Charles Barkley tears an ACL right now, then he's still an anchor for TNT. Or, or uh, I think yeah, yeah, TNT. Okay. Right. Luca okay. and Zion get injured. Yeah. Get, in an, um, get accused of assaulting a, a taxi driver or something. Done. I'm just saying, like, yeah. yes, it can go up. Yes. And it might just go up just from them doing their thing and people entering the market. So it definitely could. But again, it can go up. It definitely can go down. So right. I, I don't think it's bad to say, all right, I'm going to invest in Zion or Luca. But the point is that 
when so many people had that same philosophy, then they're hyping up that mm. price so much that now it's, it's like, do you really want to buy that versus someone that is a hall of famer and is timeless and has all this? Cause that's the point where I'm like, wow, the, these prices are really high of someone like how many yeah. games has Zion played? Like 19 or something? Wasn't yeah, it like he played like 25 or 19. Or yeah, okay. Right. So, so that's great. And, and he can keep going up, but at the same time, there's a handful of reasons why it might not. I mean, yeah, he, he could get injured. He, something could happen. There, there's like the more you pay yeah. in, the more you need everything to go right. Because one thing going yes. wrong, a $500 card now goes down to a hundred. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I mean, what, what if he tears his ACL and they're like, no, this is horrible. He's going to be out for a year. That $500 card. Um, okay. Not only is he out for a year, maybe he's not the same after the injury. So it's one of those things where, yes, it can keep going up and you can buy now. And even without NBA going on, that might actually be a good thing because the hype continues. But yeah. what if they get bounced in the first right. round and all of a sudden it's like, well, that was a bit disappointing. And now the card goes down mm. from that. So, so in a way, I've been having this conversation where every player has a lot of hype right now because no one has lost in the last three months. No one has sucked. No one has thrown an air ball. No one has thrown an interception. No one has been sacked. No one, like, there's been exactly. nothing negative, really, for the last three months. So everyone has right. reason to do good after this.